So, from my father's side, as I said, my grandfather, his name was Mark Roslar. Roslar, they changed it to Razel afterwards. <laughs> so he was a teaching uh, Greek and Latin, in, he was a professor or teacher in university. And he came to Israel year 52, and he wanted to uh, look for a job. He left his family there, he came to Israel to find a job. And when he was here, it was very difficult for him to find a job. And he, suddenly got a telegram from, um, from, the, from the Queen of Holland that said, uh, I have two daughters, I'm looking for a private teacher for a Greek and Latin. Maybe you come live in, in, the, in the palace, in the, in the Beit Meluchar, you know what I say, uh, in Amsterdam. And uh, my grandfather told me that for three days, he didn't, he wasn't able to eat or sleep. He was in the bed. And he wrote to her six words. He said, my children will never forgive me. I'm staying in Israel. And he left everything and came here to Israel. And, uh, and Baruch Hashem, he, has, he passed away about 20 years ago. But he has many great grandchildren, great, about 50 great grandchildren and, and Baruch Hashem. And before, he was my music teacher. He taught me cello. He was a m musician also. And he, to he told me that there's one pasuk, one verse in the Torah that he's very connected to. It's called, Katonti Mikol HaZadim. I'm, I'm humble in front of all the good that you've given to me. And that was what Yaakov, Jacob, Yaakov Avinu, our forefather, when he was about to meet his brother Esau, he was scared that he was going to kill him. And he said, Hashem, I remember that when I um, left Israel, I was almost naked. I had nothing clothes on me. And now I'm, I'm like, very big, I have, please have mercy and save me. And he said to me, I want to tell you about this Pasuk and maybe, I, you know, so in his memory I composed this song. It's called Katonti Mikola Hasadim. It's also dedicated to you, Sully, and, and uh, Paula, Gano, and your family. And of course to um, Sugihara, that, uh, well, you'll tell the story afterwards. Yeah, yeah. You know, there were 35 teachers from Japan came to visit me. Really? Yeah. And so, he's, so, so Yohara's grandson came as well. He came to your home. Yeah, but besides that, I had a visit of 35 teachers wow. who were telling, this, uh, uh, telling the story of the Holocaust in all the Japanese schools. And I have it on, I put it on the paper. And so you still had a very close connection with Sugihara's wife, yeah. with your Kiko Sugihara. That's sure. I've been sure. to her almost every year. How, when did she pass away? She passed away about five years ago. She was very old. Yeah, she, she was about 90. This is very special, very special. Yeah, there's so. a picture of him. Yes. Yeah, that's the thank you. They were here two weeks ago. Uh, two weeks ago? Yeah. And uh, each one they sent us a letter. You see them, you see? It's unbelievable. This is amazing. This is the. Uh, and they say in Japan, there is uh, in Japan today, Sugihara is regarded as one of the top ten heroes of all time Japan. I don't know. We have to, we have to do it. It's beautiful. Sally and his son. And a month ago, came from Yad Vashem. A lot of Israelis. American, American, American students. But they didn't I'm say getting visited all the time. 25 of them. Okay, here I'll play this song. Sorry about the piano, it's not a very fancy piano. Oh, that's wonderful. But, uh, I want it to be close to you, you understand? Mm -hmm. 